Properties of good conductors. Learning is fun with K-12 lessons. Don't forget to subscribe! You have learned in the previous lesson the difference between a conductor and an insulator. Have you ever tried putting at the same time a metal spoon and a plastic spoon on a cup of hot water? What kind of spoon becomes hot quickly? Why is it that there are materials that are good conductors of heat and electricity? In this lesson, you will learn what materials are good conductors of heat and electricity. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. It contains free electrons where it moves through the metal easily. Electrons gain kinetic energy when it collides with hot atoms and pass on energy when they collide with cold atoms. When metals are heated, atoms and free electrons vibrate that causes the transfer of heat and electricity faster. Copper and aluminum are metals so they are good conductors of heat and electricity. Stainless steel is an iron-based metal. Iron, gold, silver, brass, steel, copper, and nickel are also good conductors of heat and electricity. Non-metals do not have free electrons. That is why they are not as good as metal when it comes to conduction of heat and electricity. Good conductors are solids that have atoms that are very compact. The more compact the atoms, the better conductors it will be. Characteristics of good conductors Good conductors gain heat quickly. Good conductors increase in temperature quickly. Good conductors lose heat quickly. Good conductors decrease in temperature quickly. Good conductors conduct heat from a hot to a cold object quickly. Good conductors can be hammered. Good conductors are shiny. Characteristics of poor conductors Poor conductors gain heat slowly. Poor conductors increase in temperature slowly. Poor conductors lose heat slowly. Poor conductors decrease in temperature slowly. Poor conductors conduct heat from a hot to a cold object slowly. Poor conductors are brittle. Test for conductors. Take precautionary measures and ask assistance from an adult in doing the activity. What you need? One glass with salt water. Glass A. One glass with tap water. Glass B. Four big metal paper clips. Two dry cells. Two small light bulbs and electrical wire or copper wire. What to do? Put wire on one end of the dry cell and a light bulb to the other end. Use another wire and put one end of it in the same bulb, then attach another end to the paper clip. Put another wire to the end of the dry cell and attach the one end of the wire to another paper clip. Hang the two clips on the wooden skewers and hang it across glass A. Make sure that the end part of the clips touches the water. Do the same with glass B. Which glass did the bulb light? Why? The glass was salt water. It is because salt water is a good conductor of electricity. Which liquid is the best conductor of electricity? 
The salt water. Salt water contains ions that can carry electric current, allowing the bulb to light up. Let's take a look at the concepts that you have learned from this video. A conductor is a material that allows heat or electricity to pass through. An insulator is a material that does not allow heat or electricity to pass through. Copper, aluminum, iron, gold, silver, and steel are conductors of heat and electricity. Conduction is a transfer of heat from one place to another through direct contact. Non-metals do not have free electrons, that is why they are not good conductors of heat and electricity. Since metals are good conductors of electricity, electric wires are made of metals like copper. Good conductors are solid materials that have atoms that are very dense. Electricity can easily flow through good conductors. Identify if the material is an insulator or a conductor. Iron. Glass. Rock. Plastic. Silver. Metal hair clip. Metal spoon. Cloth. Nails. Sweater. Frying pan. Bonnet. Rubber slippers. Kettle. Towel. Cooking pot. Gloves. Wooden door. Choose the correct answer. What do we call a material that allows electricity to pass through it? Conductor, conduction. Your mother wants to cook it faster. Which of the following materials will she use? Aluminum pot, plastic pot. Which of the following consists of objects that are good conductors of heat? Aluminum cup, wood, cloth. Nails, safety pin, some tack. Which is a good conductor? Metals, fruits. Identify whether the statement is true or false. 
A plastic is a great conductor of electricity. Electricity can easily flow through conductors. Glass and air allow electricity to pass through them. Since metals are good conductors of electricity, electric wires are made of metals. What? Plastic, glass and rubber are conductors. They allow electricity to flow through them. Oi! Oi! Oi!